This is Deductor continuing the Battle Brothers Gladiators playthrough. We're about to go kill some Linworms, part of completing our ambition. Uh, this is gonna be a brutal battle. Five Linworms. This is the probably the second toughest fight of the campaign. The first was against that Barbarian King. Uh, way back in, on like day 28 or whatever. So I've geared my men out. Ooh, I need to swap the trinket to the most important tank, who is probably you. All right. Um, so, Lindworms um, are dangerous, but what you need to do is you need to tank uh, them with shield bros as the rest of your line attacks them from range. And the more flexibility, the better. Yannickus will have the pole mace along with the net. Uh, the butcher, I actually am going to give him a whip because it's got a three town range and the whip does a lot of damage once you strip out the armor. So uh, we'll use that. Uh, Spartacus, of course, with the long axe there. Um, also, the whip combos very well with um, with the fact that um, you have overwhelm. Although you want to watch fatigue a little bit, uh, these whips are very fatiguing. 15 fatigue. Uh, the Beast Slayer will tank. Your weapon doesn't matter, so you just get a Roundu Dagger. Crixus will tank. Um, same deal. And the Lumberjack will tank. Same deal. Uh, there is this uh, Serpent Skin Manto, but it reduces damage from fire and firearms, of which Lindworms cannot do anything. The Duelist will have, uh, our Noble here will have a Pike, everybody else has ranged weapons, equip some extra nets and fire potions. Uh, these could be good if we burn, uh, kill off the Lindworm's uh, uh, armor. Let's see how good these potions are. Like it says here, it throws fire, but how much damage is that? Lindworms do have multiple, um, they occupy multiple hexes. So does it do double damage? It might. Uh, and maybe if a bunch of Lindworms clump up, this could be really, really good. I wonder if I should carry a smoke pot just in case. Just in case of something bad happening. That's not a crazy idea. Who would carry it? I don't really see Gannicus throwing a net, honestly. We have enough nets. Let's say give Gannicus the smoke pot, just in case we need it for some reason to get rid of Zone of Control. Alright, this is going to have to do. Uh, I'm going to... I was thinking about assigning Fearsome to my sergeant, but apparently I looked this up. Lindworms have 180 resolve, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Fearsome applies a penalty to resolve equal to 20% of my resolve. But... They have so much resolve that I'm basically always rolling 5% morale checks, I think. It doesn't really matter. And I don't see the perk points on anyone else helping out, except for this duelist. This duelist, um, we can get Battle Forge. That might be like one more hit uh, in case somehow you got into melee or something like that. So that is worthwhile. You should take recover. What was I going to do with you? Uh, one second. All right, look this guy up. Um, I was going to make you an underdog duelist due to the fact that you have excellent defense. I don't always go underdog on duelists. I don't think it's necessary a lot of the times. But if you have such good defense, that could be a good thing. Uh, and the reason why I don't always go underdog is if you do it right, your duelist will do so much damage that enemies aren't even surrounding you in the first place. Like, that's how you avoid getting killed. And it's probably going to be a mace duelist, but I kind of want to see what other weapons we find. Still, it's rarely bad to go underdog. Is I really going to go adrenaline with you? Sometimes the alpha strike matters. Adrenaline is really good on uh, Battle Forge characters. Alright, um, that looks good. Let's go and fight these Lindworms. It's going to be tough, but we've beaten five Lindworms before without any sort of uh, trickery in the past. Let's see what the Lindworms do first. 
I don't like these uh, hills. Because Lenny Williams are pretty good about grabbing it, yeah. I don't really see us being able to exploit the hills, unfortunately. So I'm gonna fall back. All right, I position my men into two squads. Let's see what the Lindworms do. This one could engage Crixus or the Nimble Tank. Let's see what they do. Some of them might waste their time on the high ground, which is perfect. We wanna force them to engage one at a time. This is fine. They can move three. Ooh, they're all coming this way. That's less ideal. That is less ideal, I will say that. I need to run someone over. Okay. They are pretty slow. We should be able to go ahead of them next turn, especially if I earn my turn immediately. So I'm gonna double attack with Crixus and end my turn immediately. Also, as I hit them, their initiative will drop. Wait about that. Hmm. Go here and net that one, but what do I do about that one, right? He's gonna run up in my face. Um, but... Or... Yeah. <sighs> tricky, tricky, tricky! Where the smoke bomb could come in. I also have that one running rampant in the back. This one's real likely to just go on that hill again. That's what Lindworm AI seems to love doing. We can uh, we can send someone off to net that one. Um, I was not paying attention to how they moved. The tail, can it move four? Like, if I go here, and one, two, three, the head can definitely move there, but can the tail go like that? Maybe. Now that the tail has zone of control, uh, I don't, like, how can the Lindworm move its tail actually matters? It used to not matter. You just have to care about where the head moves. But um, this, is, uh, this is not great. Maybe I need to take footwork on more people for this reason. So, if I go here... You have to shield wall and down the boat. This Linworm is likely to move up. I'll get four attacks on my Battleforge tank, which is fine. What's this one gonna do? He can come down, or he can go up. My grave digger can uh, net this one. Probably a good thing. Yeah, the grave digger will net this one, and then this one. We'll see what he does. He could just move up in front of my tank, which is fine. If that's what he wants to do. And then this one, I have no idea what he's gonna do. Okay. So I changed my mind. I go stab. Back up. Huh? Well, 
Wait. Let's use the good net. No, oh, you can net the tail? That didn't used to be true. Alright, that one's dealt with for now. He can't actually attack anyone. Um, this one... You can move up to Crixus or to Tank. Either way, doesn't matter. I don't care. Two, three. I'm gonna make sure. I think he's really likely to go there. You can put the tail here, though. The tail is. I don't know how the Linworm can move its tail. So if I go here, right? One, two, three, and he puts the tail there. That would be supremely bad. Mm, the Lindworm fights are a lot harder now, that's for sure. Because this tail has only... So, if I go here, what if the tail ends up there? That would be super, super bad. Super bad. Can't risk it. have quick hands. Move, stab, fall back. But if the head is here and the tail uh, is just... We're working on this one right now. Yeah, I think we, we can attack. It's too risky. It used to be the Lindworm AI, once they engage you, they just, like, stay put and don't do anything. What do I have? A pole mace and so forth. Like, the head won't keep moving anymore. You want to move up there, that's fine. Okay. This is a fine place for Gannicus. Butcher can stay in the back. Going here would be crazy. Going up here would also be pretty crazy. But we could, uh... Do this, do a little bit of damage. All right, this is gonna be the most interesting question. Where do I put this tank? I feel like this Linworm is gonna run up to my Lumberjack. This one, I don't know. This one, he's either gonna run up to Crixus or Lumberjack, doesn't matter. This one could come up that way. If I try to reposition the Beast Slayer, I don't know about that. I actually kind of want to keep the Beast Slayer back on this flank in case to rotate Gannicus out. Alright, so they're going to attack me very likely. One. So if it's just one attack, I'm just going to shield wall to save a little bit of fatigue. Once the swarm of them come in, I'll indom. I have 77 defense. That's pretty good. Set up. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, good, good. Good, 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 good. Oh boy, Crixus! The undefeated goal! You're gonna have to tank this, buddy. I don't know if you can survive, but you are a god. Um, what's your defense? Let's shield wall first. 67, that's pretty good. We may have to work on this Lindworm first. He's kind of in the best position. 
I also predict the head won't move once the tail is engaged. Let's see if that's true or not. Um, I'm just going to shield wall here because... I need to save a little bit of fatigue. Although, if I shoot wall well and Indom, next turn I should be able to move slower than these Lindworms. You know what? Let's do it. I, I'm predicting the head won't move. Uh, let's see if that's true or not. This one's uh, dicking around up there. Okay. Let's stay rolling on. 11%. So that's scary. Whoa! Okay. My prediction was wrong. This is not good at all. This is extremely bad. I need to think. Okay, um, the fact that you The tail ex exerts zone of control, but I don't exert zone of control on the tail. Uh, that feels unfair. Uh, I don't usually say that of Battle Brothers, but even I think that is a questionable uh, mechanics because no other enemy in the game has like free footwork. They footwork on me or something like that, that'd be fine, but um, this doesn't seem reasonable. I think I'm gonna actually make a post about that. Uh, because. So, in order to lock them down, you have to put someone next to the head. Like, I was predicting they wouldn't move once engaged, but apparently this one moved. Did he even attack? Um, Origin Mixed Chris. Yes, yeah, so he attacked and then he moved his head one. Right? The head was. Tail was here, I think, and the head. Um, this is very bad because these Lindworms have total freedom of maneuver now. And we have to uh, engage the head. Well, we have to kill this one as fast as possible. Um. We do have that smoke bomb. Might need it. We, are, we can also net. If we net the head, that should prevent it from moving. I think we're going to need to. This one, if he moves, is kind of fine. Either, no matter where he moves to, we're okay with that. The head can only attack and move once. So if you attack... Or maybe it's it depends on where they can move the tail. The tail seems to have... Freedom, right? So, where was the position? I think the head was here. And the tail was there, I think it was. And then, so the head moved, and the tail moved twice. Okay, so if the head moves, the tail can go anywhere. But the head can only attack once and move, and the AI seems to always prioritize attacking once, which makes sense. Alright, alright. Used to be, you just fall back from the tail. Boy, this, uh, this is so much harder. I think we have to kill one of these, like this one, as fast as possible. If we have to do that, fall back. What's your initiative? Pretty bad. But you have footwork, buddy. Which uh, will help. Boy, this is rough. Alright, 
Good. Break chance 50%. Got lucky there. Right, we have to attack here. Um, Reap is like an AoE cone. If I go down here, the tail could, uh, the head could move and bite me, which would be very bad. I'm gonna wait here and decide what to do. Okay, this. Um, my plan is to rotate here. We're gonna wait, no need to take action yet. You need to net again. I feel like this one next to Crixus. And he should always attack and then move one, right? Attack, move one, or move one and attack. Either way is fine. You, you don't do much, buddy. I feel like I need to move you up and net this one. This one's a dangerous one. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see. Okay, Gannicus, with your supreme levels of defense, 64. You should be able to run out. God damn it, Gannicus. Why would you fail that? Okay, at least you can go first again next turn. Oh, this is very, 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 very bad. I did not think the Lindworms would do this. Um, we can overwhelm him a bunch, which is probably what we have to do. I was going to rotate you out, but... So what is the AI likely to do? They can move the tail at will. Going there is so bad. If I knew that the tail did not respect zone of control, I would not have fought here because going here would just get me uh, attacked by a Lindworm on elevation, which seems super bad. Gannicus, how did you fail that? This one's gonna move down and then move the tail up, bite. If I rotate Gannicus. This one can move one, two. Okay, this is a fine position. We can stand here and net this one. Um, oh. Net this one. Row, row. Gannicus still does have supreme levels of defense. Um, his uh, armor took a hit. He can take... Well, he could be theoretically attacked three times, and if all three hits, he dies. But he does have a supreme amount of defense. I think we have basically no choice here. This one, what is he gonna do? We need to kill this one. We also have a smoke bomb. So, you're gonna run up, net this one. He's gonna stay put. He's not gonna be able to move his tail in some crazy shenanigan. This one's gonna run up, bite Gannicus once, and move the tail up, and then we rotate. We rotate now, the problem is the Nobo Duelist could be in trouble. 
we go here and shield wall uh that seems bad because <sighs> damn the tail doesn't like we don't exert tail control can't believe we don't exert zone of control on the tail like that does not seem fair nothing else in the game works that way i don't think it makes positioning like so hard What does Gannicus have in the pocket? He does have the smoke grenade in case of emergency. He can quick hand to it, throw it, and then run. I don't think it's desperate enough yet. He also has overwhelm, which is not irrelevant. So this one's gonna move down, attack Gannicus once. Gonna have like an 18%. This one should be overwhelmed to hell. So it should have, uh, like, very, very low odds. Actually, this one's almost certainly going to go for the Noble Dudes. Who, if he gets hit once, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to keep my uh, Beast Slayer in reserve because of that. Rixus. Uh, you have Nuts. Uh... As we know, the AI is quite capable of moving its head. Quite capable. We could swap to the net and net this one, preventing the head from moving. But I feel like we could also just taunt it. Can't believe the thing, the tail, exerts zone of control, but I don't exert zone of control on it. That changes like so much. I move up and stab he moves the head down and then moves the tail down and then I'm screwed by net to break out the net and move the head once but I get to go ahead of him matters this one is kind of uh, stuck it's good I think I have no choice but to net. You can net the tail. I'm curious. Huh. How does that work? You didn't used to be able to net the tail. Well, let's find out, right? This is, uh... Well, we can't go there. I have no idea how this works. Let's find out. Let's, uh... I'm just gonna... Put hands to the weapon again. Alright, the hunter needs to do damage. There's no uh, holding back here. This one could move down and attack me, which would be supremely bad. You have footwork, though, and you can take at least one hit. Footwork makes a big difference here. All right, what's the head can't do anything. This one could potentially come down. I don't want to taunt it. That seems uh, crazy. You move down, that's not a good thing. He should attack once. He might move the head here and the tail there, but that's fine. I can footwork my way out of there. What's, uh, what, what do I do here? There's only one Lindworm. I'm just gonna save some fatigue by show walling. Kidoke. I can take a hit. 
So let's just end. Here I have no choice. Gotta make sure that one's kept. Okie doke, Ganicus. You're gonna need to be a god of war here. I don't want to wreck your armor, so we're just gonna swap here. Overwhelm. Good miss, good miss. That's uh, overwhelm the tail here. Good. Lots of bleeds. Gonna wait in case we need it. Aha! AI is smart. Aha! All right, little AI, I got it. I understand your tactics now. See, I made sure to put this guy with footwork over here. Um, I get it now. Okay, okay. Pretty clever, this AI. Now, this head should be locked down, so this one's just here permanently. I understand. Maybe you have to net the tail, because if you net the tail, does the AI move the head? That's the question. Right? Let, let's think about it, right? Let's say the head moved down and bites me. I can survive a hit, that's fine. Uh, the tail has to break out. Like, how does the AP work? I assume they're independent, right? The tail has to break out and then move. It would still be bad. But the look at this. Um, their um, their initiative is in different orders. Well, no, this one uh, they, they went together. Hmm. I don't know why these two initiatives are different. Ah, that's weird. Okay, let me think. So if I move here and I stab this one, what can it do next turn? It can move the head down to bite me. And then try to break out of the tail and then move down like that. We can always, uh. Hmm. We, ha we have to do damage to it, though. We can't just uh, sit around and do nothing. Maybe the militia is gonna die here. You don't know that. I have no choice. End the turn immediately. Maybe we go ahead. Good, good. That one's uh, still stuck in the net. Alright. Crixus. Um, you don't have enough fatigue to do both Indom and Shield Wall. You have a stack of the uh, armor protecting you right now, so I think shield wall is the better thing. They have a... Uh, uh, wow, shield wall. So this guy has 77 defense and they have a 11% chance of hitting you. If you shield wall, you will have 65 defense, so they have a 20% chance of hitting you. So on average, you should get hit once, which is fine. We're getting Dom next turn. All right. This one will always attack once. your initiative 36 that's actually respectable but i don't think you go ahead of this lindworm next turn and your defenses are pathetic you can survive two hits you can't survive three hits uh so here is the plan
The head always seems to move ahead of the tail. If we footwork and stab, we should be able to footwork and run next turn. So we're gonna do this. So my prediction is this lantern will attack here and then move the head up like that. And then this tail could move there, but that's fine. You just run. Turn done, turn done, turn done, turn done. We'll wait so we go low in the initiative order. Okay. Really want to stab this thing, but um, not seeing that as likely right now. So we're gonna stab and run. Okay. You could get hit here, buddy, but you can survive two hits, and if you do, we'll rotate you out. Um, so, God, 31, that's so bad. I don't really have a choice. <laughs> Don't really have a choice. This one's locked down. Okay, stab back up one. Yeah, stab back up one. Seems good. Oh boy! Woo! They had Ganicus. That's fine. That's fine. That that didn't really do anything. Um, minor damage to the helmet. Minor damage. And getting stunned is no problem because I waited turn, so the stun will go away. Minor issue. Okay, do I need to rotate you now? It's actually not a bad idea because... Oh, I can't, right? You can't rotate a stun character. Okay, well, rotate you next turn. It's not a bad idea because uh, now I can put a real tank in there and I know where the other Lindworms are. And we should be able to kill you fast enough to free up my tank. Oh my god, this battle is a uh, clincher. It's crazy. Okay. Well. Good job, Ganicus. I know you're God of War, buddy. Good job. Yep, they... Ow. Whoa! The AI did not do what I thought it would do. This is very, very bad. We not have killed this one fast enough to save my uh, sergeant. The sergeant can take two hits. Oh, this is very, very, very bad. Okay, if we kill this one fast enough, we're still fine. This is fine, this is fine. This is not fine. I might need to adrenaline. All right, this is good. Oh, they could bite Crixus. Um, good. This is exactly why I got a uh, resilience for situations like this. Let's. If I recover and end my turn immediately, I should be able to go ahead of them, right? I think so. They might bite Crixus. And he doesn't have Indom up. But I feel like we have to do it. Get you fresh for next turn. Mm, 
I don't like these misses. Move head up like that to bite me. I think staying put here makes sense with you. Okay. Other turns are done. Might as well wait. This is bad. I took out the shield from your pocket because I didn't think this was going to be a problem. Um, we need to do as much damage as possible to that Lindworm. I might need a smoke grenade. Because that sergeant cannot take the hits. I think he could actually die. I did not see this move. I thought they would always attack once uh, and uh, move, but apparently not. Should have adrenaline in hindsight. Double adrenaline. Should be able to kill this one off. I think I know what I have to do. Oh boy. Okay, three turns. Damn it! That sergeant could die. I did not see that maneuver by the Lindworm. Uh. We should be able to kill this one this turn. Uh. Yep. Oh my gosh, 67% miss. Thank you for the knockback. I've never been so happy to be knocked back in my life. Oh. Okay, okay. I want to see what these two do. I need to save my uh, fatigue here. Nine turns. We should be able to get you, right? I have one more move. This is all good. All very good. Well, they seem to be uh, attacking this position uh, over and over again. Oh my god. Oh, okay, one down. One down. That's good. Um, one, two, three. They always seem to... Okay. Let's say I put my Beast Slayer here, right? So I'm not super worried if they attack the Beast Slayer. Bite. Tail Swipe. You could... Do like this. Get back in range of my Sergeant. Maybe it's because Indom. Crixus had Indom up when this one made that maneuver. We don't have, uh, I think I have a net on my, uh, militia there. You need like 10 nets for these battles. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never, oh, this is, uh, this is insane. I mean, I don't know if it, 
the tail should have zone of control. My initial impression is we should be able to exert zone of control on the tail. But would that make it too easy? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, these are supposed to be like the ultimate beast, right? This is supposed to be one of the hardest fights in the game. So outside the legendary locations. And it did used to be slaughtering lindworms was so trivial. You didn't really have to try very hard. Uh, even if you didn't do the kiting strategy. Okay, so let's think about it. Beast Slayer will come here, right? And then uh, what will happen? Uh, he could one, two, three, like that, right? Uh, well, no, he could one, two, three, right? Beast Slayer's here at the head. We can exert zone of control on the head. So he'll go like this. And then he can attack. So I don't think the head's going to do that. I think the head's going to attack the Beast Slayer once. He can move up and the tail can move up. Okay, gotcha. So because of that, I am actually going to recover. I can't get my fatigue back. We have to recover here. I don't think I get to go ahead of them. Maybe one of them. We have to kill this one next to Gannicus, I feel like. Gannicus uh, can take a hit from the head. This one's totally locked down, so that's good. I might actually need the net because again this Lindworm like he he did ignore one like if he runs up if I go here and the head runs up here I am screwed completely screwed what if I netted this tail would that take care of it yeah let's play this safe okay you have to do this there's no choice if you get attacked or hit whatever it's not a big deal Arcus can wait Seven. Well, move Gannicus up. I want them to attack Crixus if at all possible. You can wait with the Butcher. We're not overwhelming anything right now. Good, good. 14 turns, one turn, nine turn. Okay. Good, good. Job, Crixus. You are definitely a champion. I'm gonna wait here. Four turns. Now, I actually want to test this out, right? We have the tail netted, so it shouldn't be able to. Well, it could try to break out. Because I'm wondering if I move here, is the head smart enough to move down so it can break and then move one? Mm, better way. Or we could throw a fire pot one too. Well, let's let's find out. Let's find out how good these fire potions are, huh? What's the point of consuming bows if we're not using them? Five AP, so we can go here. We can throw it like this. And then we can fall back. What's it doing? Armor is hit for a small amount. Um, body is hit for it's 50 damage and it's probably over multiple turns. That's respectable. Respectable. I might adrenaline here. Rixus. Um, probably need to indom. 
we could recover and go for the psycho again if I hit this thing a whole bunch of times we should be able to move ahead of him I really want to do the uh, reap thing, but I think it's too risky with the way the AI works now. Okay. I can take a hit. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, the fire made it move. I get it. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew, I knew it would do some sort of shenanigan. Knew it. Well, that seems crazy. We could go here and throw. My initiative is pretty good. And I can take a single hit. Not that I want to. Or I could just go here and play it safe. Let's just go here and play it safe. Okay. I'm just gonna shield wall. If I indom, it might make the head move, which is bad. I don't want the head to move. Two, three. Come here. One, two, three, and then move the tail over there. Yep. Should a shield wall? Um. I don't really see the point of adrenaline. Well, I do see the point. I could attack and then fall back. Um, the head could bite me, but Spartacus has such... Re he has reasonable defenses. And... Um, if he gets bit once, it's a huge chunk of armor damage, but he'll live. kind of feel like you need to, like tank with different members of your team from time to time. The tail can't do anything. So I'm just gonna wait. What other tricks do I have? A fire potion. I don't think that's gonna do much right now. I'm not moving in. That would be crazy. A whip doesn't really do much either, but it's better than nothing, I think. Then we just wait. This position seems fine for the Grave Digger for now. Well, if he wants to move the head in here, that's not a bad thing for us. But let's fall back. The head can't move due to the tail being blocked. So that's important to understand. Two turn and turn. Okay, we can go ahead of him. Yeah, Crixus. Overwhelm this moron. We have to wait until um I'm not gonna overwhelm the damage is more important, so we're just gonna wait here. Crixus, you know what to do. Fifteen percenters, that's fine. Ah! Okay, this seems like a bug. This seems like a bug. Because the Lindworm, like, separated its head from the tail. This can't possibly be working as intended. So I'm gonna make a bug report on this. Like, that's crazy. Uh... I netted one part of it, and then somehow it magically separated itself. I mean, if it were going to do that right, it should be doing that all the time. So this can't possibly be correct or intended. Well, it's going to be a problem because... Uh, 
I'm not sure how I actually deal with this. Oh, maybe it's because I used a fire potion and it made the AI go crazy. That's probably what it is. All right, well, lesson learned. Don't bring the fire potion here. I wonder how the AI is going to even work now. Can stab and move. These things uh, move and attack once. This is not the one I want to be stabbing, but I feel like I have no choice. Because with 12%, that's fine. Are you gonna move up and try to attack my daytailer? That's fine if that's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna wait and see what the AI does. Oh, well, here I have no choice. To do this. Huh, why didn't you attack the noble? Anakis can just stand there. Yeah, why didn't this thing attack the uh, noble? Why did he attack Anakis? I have no idea. This is bad. For days, for two turns. Recover won't do anything. This is where the permanent shield wall comes in handy. At least they're going to be rolling on 11 percenters. Or 5 percenters. Okay. Why did he move back into the fire? I think the, the there's some sort of bug with the uh, fire potion and the landworm. I mean, clearly, there's one bug. Um, not that much is clear. I kind of want to relieve some pressure here, but I'm going to come up here so we have the optimal attacks. You're just going to shield wall. I don't, I'm not even indoming. Okay. 87. You again have... Um, Footwork, so I'm not as worried about you. One, two, three. Why is Gang is missing so much? Again, I don't care as much about the overwhelm as I do the damage, so we're gonna wait. Okay. Alright, now all your armor is gone. Seven turns. Um, shield wall Indom is 18 plus 25. I can't count that. Which one's more important, shield wall or Indom? Uh, this one's not overwhelmed, and it can knock back probably Indom. Crixus can take some hits. Might as well wait now. Oh, this this situation is just bizarre. I don't know what to do here. Uh. I honestly have no idea what to do. Is the head gonna go back? 
Like... If I move up and attack, can the head move up? Uh... I have no idea what to do. We could switch to the crossbow, but... Well, it didn't move up and attack, even though it could have. Do I just end my turn, get some fatigue back? Although, for what possible reason, I have no idea. Let's just shoot away. Alright. This is why Iron Lungs with the Fame Shield combo is so good. Even though this Lumberjack tank had no defense. Because if nothing else, you can always perma shield wall. Now these things are rolling under 5%. Like, this is why I made that Lumberjack into a tank. There's, uh... I may not know how to do builds most of the time, but sometimes I have some skill. Shield wall. These things always have so much hit points, probably. I have no idea what to do here. Like, if I run up and stab, is this thing going to be moving my face? I do have a heater shield. But the place I really want to stab is over there. So let's position you. Do these things have steel brow? I wonder. Is this head gonna move up like that? It shouldn't, right? Like, that would be a bug. Although, we know the game is quite buggy right now. That position is good. Uh, let's wait. I'm probably gonna swap to the pike and stab. That's fine. less fine. Six turns, ten turns. As soon as I kill one of these lindworms, I'll be in much better shape. Oh my god, that lindworm is bleeding. Okay. I can now indom. If I indom, they're all gonna spam their hits on me. But I won't take much damage when they do hit. Can I do both? No, I can't do both. Or I can go for the shield wall again and let them roll their five percenters. If I indom. Uh, I think they'll have like a 10% chance of hitting or something like that. Which one's better? Not sure. I'll have to think. Alright, I thought about this. I think it's better for them to roll their 5 percenters. Then to Inda. 5% is acceptable. Should be able to kill this one and then that one.
Yeah, we should be able to kill you 16 turns. Yep. So I'm gonna wait here. This lane where keeps missing. Great. Should be able to kill this one off pretty soon. That should relieve more pressure. Um, but Janicus can do it in conjunction with everyone else. Let's uh, keep Spartacus over here to attack that. This you have to recover. <gasps> Can it rally? How does the mechanics work? I have no idea. We're in uncharted territory here because it's in a bug state. I'm gonna assume it can't rally because I have you next to the tail. I'm gonna hope so. Um, this one. Hmm. We gotta move Crixus up to uh, deal with the head. Although I feel like I have to keep some guys over here to stab away at this thing. So let's just wait. So no, don't throw fire pots at lindworms that are netted, by the way, because it uh, causes bugs. I don't know what to do. The bug state. Uh, I go down here. Like, can the head... Well, if I go here, the head could move and attack. Here is better. Okay, um, well. I don't even know what to do with, like, Ganicus, my butcher. Rixus, I think we know what to do with. But let's wait for this Lindworm to move first. I feel like the head's the more important thing. Let's uh, put you next to the head. I want to see what happens more than anything else. All right, if I end my turn immediately, we should have enough fatigue to go pretty early. Yeah, and I have no idea what the fleeing lindworm's gonna do. So I'm just gonna wait and see. That seems super bug. How did it, um... Enemies can't flee and rally in the same turn. No enemy in the game does that. So that seems super bugged. Oh, that's nice. This one's not doing much. We have to kill this one that's uh, netted. I don't even know, like, how the head's gonna be able to move. Is the game gonna crash? That would suck, wouldn't it? Um... This one's not doing much right now. We can just stay put. Uh... Although I kind of want to move up. Crixus can tank it. I have no idea what to do here. You back up and shield wall? I don't know. 
Like, when the game's in a bug state, like, what are you supposed to do, right? One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> Five percent, good. I want to see what this head does. Yeah. Okay. I mean, basically, we have a lindworm head running completely amok, which seems insane. Be able to kill it pretty quickly though. I don't know if this is what this is gonna do, but uh, it seems better than my other options. needs more fatigue to be able to pull off that combo. That didn't kill you. Alright, the bleed got it. And the rest is just some mop up on the single lindworm. Okay, uh, I need to report that thing with the lindworm and the fire potion because that was clearly a bug. As for whether you should be able to exert tail, uh, zonal control on the tail, my personal opinion is yes. But I could see how that might make the fight not easy, but, well, certainly easier. I don't know about that part. Like, I could see it either way. My personal opinion is just, like, the game should be a little more consistent, if at all possible. Um, but, again, that one I could see is sort of semi-debatable. Wow, Ganicus is missing so many 95s this battle. Good for you, Ganicus. I'm not gonna have Recorio killing this last Lindworm. All right, that was a super intense fight. Uh, we got some loot out of it, but um, a lot of experience. I think, uh, obviously one bug. Never drove fire potions at Linworm until then. Uh, but I could see, like, how the tail, you... I could see an argument f for the fact that you shouldn't be able to exert zone of control on the tail. That one's a little... That one's a little questionable, though. I could see it both ways. Um, I mean, we still won, right? Even with that. But, oh my god, it takes so long uh, to think through your moves. Uh, we didn't actually end up taking that much damage. The permanent shield wall tank uh, did his job. Like, permanent shield wall. Really strong. Really, really, really strong. So iron lungs on a tank is the best trait. Uh, as long as you can find a fame shield, which I feel like is not that hard to find. Um, 
Yeah, you just need one that's minus two uh, shield skills. So even the Crixus shield would have been fine. Right, that'd be 18. Iron Lungs is plus three. Uh, because uh, letting those Inworms roll those 5% over and over again made a big difference. But I need a break after that. I did not realize like how much the Lindworm AI changed. Uh, so thank you for watching. Until next time.